Good morning, YouTubers. It's Lisa with Forever Clean Soap Works. I just wanted to walk around a little bit and show you my store. There's the checkout counter. Oh, here's the lip balm. Yes, this is the famous lip balm, Slippery Lips. I have a lot. <laughs> Look at that. There's 29 flavors shown at the moment. Um, I have more. I just haven't made them yet. Uh, here's my honey and candles. And look, I am low on candles. I do have some beeswax candles. Aren't they gorgeous? And when you walk in, we ask that you use hand sanitizer. This is not my hand sanitizer. I mean, it's my hand sanitizer, but I didn't make it. It is from a local distillery. Over here, we have some nail polish kits. You can actually make your own nail polish and color them yourself. It's really fun. Oh, this is all the things when I was in the newspaper. And then we have a table that has a hand sanitizer. I have some pumps, but I don't have a lot. They're in short supply at the moment. I do have a few liquid hand soaps, not many, and a few foaming hand soaps. The reason is I don't have much liquid soap made. I don't like making it. I'll admit it. I hate making liquid soap. Here's our guys section. Now, not only does it say men's grooming products, but you can tell it's the guys section because there's all beards. And I do have men coming in and comparing to see which one they look like. I even have win women coming in and coming over here and picking out their guy's beard. So I have a few razors left. I don't have many. That's a um, travel razor. It all comes apart, fits in that little tiny case. These are leather covers for that type of razor. But I also have that razor. I do have some custom made sets. These were handmade for my store. That's to keep the razor blades in. It has a little slot in the top. So you can keep razor blades in there, used ones. And I have a lot of beard oil. Different fragrances. That's my husband. <laughs> my grandson's dad. <laughs> and then I have some beard balm. This is whoop-ass beard balm because you want to open a can. Smells wonderful. If I can pop it open with one hand, you can see what it looks like. Oh, it does not want to focus on that, does it? Anyway, it's a balm and it melts easily in your palm. I have shave soap. Now with the shave soap, you do have to use a brush in order to lather. But once you lather it up, it is thick, like shaving cream. And I have small beard balms. These are half, less than half the size of the other ones. And the thing with these is you can also use it as a solid cologne. Um, they smell wonderful. They do. That's a beard and mustache brush, or comb. Sorry. And I have a few brushes. Um, I do have a few synthetic brushes for those that don't want to use the badger brushes. These are uh, pure badger. I have some women's razors. Now, ladies, I'm telling you, you won't get a better shave. These are the old-fashioned way. And you would think that it, I don't know, that it would hurt or wouldn't be as good as some of those lady razors, but this works awesome. It really does. 
and it's actually very economical once you purchase your razor because the blades are inexpensive and you get a lot of blades in one package. I do have some guys lotions. I don't have many left. This is an awesome one. Leather tobacco. I know it sounds weird. You don't want anything smelling like tobacco. It does not smell like cigarettes. Trust me. Anyway, that's my guy's setup. It's on a tool bench. There's a fishing pole. <laughs> so over here we have my bath bomb table. I'm a little low on bath bombs. I mean, I have a bunch of them here. I try to make them as often as I can. The problem with during, making them during the summer is the humidity. They do not like humidity. So if it's very humid out, I cross my fingers. I make them anyway. Aren't they pretty? And hope for the best because they will grow. They will get very <laughs> big and sometimes turn into a pancake. <laughs> uh, we do have scrubbies if you need a scrubby. Um, we have our Arnica salve. Stuff is amazing. I can't, I can't really tell you all the good stuff that you can do with it because um, I can't make any claims on my products. Calendula paste. Oh my gosh. It's a little miracle in a jar. Soul smoother. You got crusty heels? You won't have crusty heels after using this. What do we have here? Oh, these are my soap savers. Oh my gosh. You, you know those little scraps of soap that you just can't bear to throw away because that was a good bar of soap. You put them in here and you use this like a washcloth. I have several colors. My mother-in-law makes these. And they're just, they're so awesome. They are really, really awesome. And they're cotton. So easy to wash, easy to keep clean. I don't have much pit powder left. I have an unscented. This is a powder deodorant. Whoops. It keeps you... Yep, that's the scented one. Keeps you uh, stink free, but it also keeps you dry. I didn't intend for that, but it does. We've got a few kitchen scrubbies left. I got to get with mother in law and have some more made. This is Whip It. Whip It. Oh my gosh. I use Whip It every single day around my eyes. Yeah, I think you should have laugh lines, but you shouldn't have wrinkles. And this has got some good stuff in it. Shea butter, avocado oil, tamanu oil. Look it up. That stuff is awesome. I have a few body sprays left. This is a light body spray. It smells good. Doesn't overpower. We have <laughs> sock monkeys. My mother-in-law makes these too. Look how cute. We've got the traditional ones. Aren't they adorable? Each one is made with love. And then we got the funky monkeys. These are a little different. This one's fuzzy. This one looks like he's in jail. <laughs> then we have soap. Wine soap. Yes, it is made with local wine. Beer soap. Not root beer soap. Beer soap. Made with local beer. Craft beer. I always use the local stuff. We do have... Activated charcoal soap. It's my black beauty. We've got a few lemongrass. Our big bars of lemongrass is drying right now. Should be ready in another week, I believe. We've got some tutti frutti. That's a pretty soap. Um, tea tree. Our ever popular lilac. Oh my gosh, I sell a lot of lilac. And the reason. This lilac fragrance oil smells like a lilac bush. Not kidding. Okay, Max's Manly Mud Soap. There it is. Max's Manly Mud Soap. People wonder what this is all about. It has all sorts of scrubby stuff in it. It's got pumice. It's got coffee. It's got seeds. You got a guy with greasy, grimy hands? This is what you need. This will get him clean. 
That kind of smells like a cookie. He'll love it. We have rosemary mint soap. Rosemary mint is one of my absolute favorite soaps to use on your hair. Yes, you can use my soap to wash your hair. I always tell people, try it. Not everybody likes it because not everybody has soft water. It rinses out better with soft water. It's not to say it won't rinse okay with hard water, but it rinses better with soft water. If you have hot, hard water, you may want to do a vinegar rinse afterwards to get everything out. But the people who use it absolutely love it. And I always tell people to try it, and if you don't like it, then you have a nice soap for the rest of your body. Now you can use this, or you can use this, or lavender. You can use this, or mango. Don't use the coffee one. It actually has co ground coffee in it. But any of my other soaps, that vanilla bean, it smells like a cupcake. Any of our other soaps are great for using in your hair. The sink does not work. Not a working sink. But it looks cool because it's a pedestal sink. I wish it was working. We have our Tell It Like It Is soap. I love this one. Now some of these, I don't have a lot to display at the moment. Um, at Christmas time, I have this little table full. Yes, absolutely full. And people love getting them for gifts, but it's the tell it like it is soap. And we tell it like it is. It smells like the offended. Oh, here we go. Can't control everything. <laughs> oh, it looks like somebody wanted to see what scent it was underneath there. I guess I'll have to make a new one. Okay. We do make everything unscented if you want it. We have our naked line, naked soap. Let me move this. Naked lotion. And I don't have any naked sugar scrub, but yeah, I can have some quickly. Um, the last of our purple bottles is in sweet pea. And pst, that's on sale. So grab some of that. And sugar scrubs. Oh, and our detox. That stuff is awesome. It's made with the same ingredients like the soap with the activated charcoal, the lavender, and the tea tree. But it's a sugar scrub. Wonderful on your face. Here's my lotions. They are now in a four ounce upside down bottle. And the reason this lotion is thick 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 it's not a runny lotion it's not a watery lotion more sugar scrubs sugar scrubs um it's not a watery lotion so in these bottles because pumps are scarce i decided to switch over to these and you don't have to worry about trying to get the last little bit out because it'll be right down there at the bottom I do have two different kinds of bottles at the moment. One is kind of a clear, opaque bottle, and one is a white one. The reason, packaging has been very, very difficult to get. So I had to take what I could get. So a lot of things don't match anymore, like they used to. But that's okay, because it's still the same stuff. Look at my Michigan soaps. Anyone who is from Michigan will understand why you have to have the UP in here. This is an actual bar of soap. Smells like Lake Breeze. I suppose you could use it. Most people want to display it or send it as a gift. A little gift from Michigan. And here are our famous shower steamers. Oh my gosh. If you could smell these. I know you can't smell them, but if you could smell them, they are wonderful. Now, I started to make them in individual wrapped pieces because now you can buy one, put it in a little bag, oops, put it in a little bag, or three, put it in a bigger bag. 
or 10 of them. Put them in a very large bag. Um, a lot of people want to just buy one to give as a gift, like a little sample. And some people, who, for themselves, they want more than just, you know, I used to have seven of them in there. And they want more than that. So now you have the option. Loofahs. Don't worry, I have more. They are in the drying room right now. And I'm making more every day. What did I make yesterday? I made, oh, a new one called Purple Mint. You'll see why when I, when I bring them out, why they're called Purple Mint. That's a really good one, Apple Mint. Um, Satsuma is very popular. Satsuma is orange. Here's a new fragrance for us. It's called Coconut Orange Cardamom. You can really smell the coconut. Oh, so good. Um, I also have the one that's drying back there is Midnight Pomegranate. Won't be long. Those will be out. But these have a whole slice of loofah inside the soap. Now the thing with these is that you can see it goes down inside there. As you use the soap, you still have the loofah. It's one-handed loofahing in the shower. And these little babies, these little loofahs, are grown locally. Yes, they're not from the ocean. They are grown like a zucchini and then they're dried and she cuts them for me and brings me a whole box of them. <laughs> okay, the last thing I need to show you is my Himalayan salt soap. This is what it looks like. And there is as much salt as oil in there, except I do something a little special so that it's very moisturizing. Wonderful. It has a totally different lather. Uh, totally different than regular soap. It's thick and creamy like foam, like, I don't know, shaving cream. Up here I have some sugar scrubs that don't match lotions. All those other ones I, over there, they match the lotions and other soaps. These don't. Um, here's a very, very popular one, butt naked. <laughs> but these are just a few that I don't have matching lotions. There's a tobacco vanilla. Oh, that one smells so good. Anyway, I'm going to stand over here so you can kind of get a view of the whole place. So, this is my store. I'm going to try to do videos as often as possible now on my YouTube channel. Way over there. Oh, I forgot to show you. I do have some salts. I don't have a lot because they're not very popular. We're going to try again at Christmas. So I only have a few bagged up at the moment. Because I don't sell a lot of salt. This is salt for uh, just soaking in the bathtub. You know, Dead Sea salt. And then I have Himalayan salt. Mother-in-law. She's got towels too. <laughs> oh, I forgot to show you. Where are you going here? On Wednesdays, we have our walk-in Wednesday. This is my little classroom, workshop room. And on Wednesday, we have paint a bath bomb. These are white bath bombs. They are scented. Some are scented in Satsuma, which is orange. Some are scented in monkey farts. Kids love monkey farts. It's just fruity, don't worry. It's just fruity, doesn't stink. Um, the butterflies, you get two in a bag because they're tiny. Other ones, you get one. They're $3 to come in and paint them. This one is so cool. But you grab a brush, and then I have all these little things of paint. Now, it's not paint. What it is, is the bath bomb coloring, which is mixed with a little bit of alcohol. And then you paint it on with a brush. And it's so much fun because you can do any color, and the kids love it absolutely love it and we do that every Wednesday it's called walk-in Wednesday from 11 to 3 so stop in well anyway I think we're about done there's the mural that Melly painted for me Melly is my son's girlfriend and she is an artist as you can see she's a very good artist 
I absolutely love it. So I will stop this video right now. I suppose oh, we have a bathroom in, in here with our little classroom. This is the hallway that goes in between. I have a lot of supplies up there, but I'm going to show you something else. So we walk over here. This is where I package stuff. Sometimes it's quite a mess, but there's my loofahs. See, and they're all cut. And I pour the soap and I shove them in there. Yep. Oh, I guess I could show you. It might get noisy because I have my drying room with my um, dehumidifier going all the time. Yeah, it's noisy. Anyway, it's kind of dark in here, but look, there's one of my racks for drying. These trays hold a lot of soap. There's lemongrass, lavender, satsuma, there's some pretty ones under there. <laughs> there's some pumpkin ones over there. There's some, those are uh, midnight pomegranate loofahs. I've got a lot of soap in here, but look what I have up here. Those are my uh, new ones that are coming out. I am so stinking excited about these. These are soapy cupcakes. However, these first ones there will be a discount on. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because, look, I just used a regular cupcake uh, paper and they don't hold up. So they get squished. So the first ones will be discounted, but I did order some silicone cups and we, I think I have the frosting down. The frosting is actually cold processed soap. The whole thing is soap. So they will be packaged like a cupcake and they're just gorgeous. I just love them. I will have little things to go on top. I just started making them. Look. My little mermaid tails, aren't they cute? Oh, I am so excited. None of these will be ready until at least the first part of October. So yeah, you have to wait, but it'll be worth it. Um, I will have some really pretty ones. Oh, I know what I made yesterday. I'm going to show you. I couldn't remember the name of the... Look at that. You see that? Now these won't be ready till October either. They're orange and black and they're loofah soaps and they're pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is going to be so cool. I can't wait. They're so pretty. Okay. Now I'm done showing you stuff. My artist, Melly, drew a picture of my son one day doodling. Yeah, she was doodling. And that's how it came out. Looks just like him. Crazy. She's crazy good. <laughs> okay. That's the tour of my store. I'm going to try to do some more videos of me making soap. Hopefully one of me making the cupcake soap. Um, if I can get my camera here to set right while I'm doing it so you can see everything. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye for now.